up it, right? We're here for the rededication of E22. Now that's a 1988 engine, and it's going to the museum, which makes me wonder what is going to happen to some of us, especially me. Without further ado, I'm going to introduce Mike McDonald, Chief Restorer, Chief Refurbisher. This is the man that reached out to say, I, I want to know more history about Dearborn, because we've come across your first, not first fire engine, first brand new fire engine. The Rural Fire District bought five of them. This was our Dearborn one, E22. And Mike is with Western Heavy Equipment, but he does this because he has a passion and a love for these old fire engines. And the California Fire Museum, which will be in Orange County, that is eventually where E22 is headed. So Mike, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to work with you. So I'm, I'm not good at this, so bear with me. But, uh, I've, uh, although I've never been a fireman, I've, I've been a CDF and Forest Service contractor since I was 18 years old. So I've, a lot of Chief Meacham and John Hawkins, and I, I knew those people when they were way, way down the ladder, so I've been around a long time. So that proves how old I am. So. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, Chief Meacham, uh, Division Chief Croucher, uh, John Chief Kaminsky, and, and also Art Camarena. He's a, a captain, and uh, Art, Art kind of like me, he's he does all the background lay work, you know. You don't don't hear much about him, but he's the one that kind of makes things happen. So he's a he's. I want to make sure that he's he's part of the honorable mentions here. And uh, anyway, the uh, president of the California Fire Museum. I'm, I'm a founding member uh, when they started up uh, the concept. And uh, Don Forsyth is a retired. Uh, Chief Officer of Orange County Fire Authority, so he's going to tell you about the museum. Forty-two years there, um, I am the president, current president of the California Fire Museum and Safety Learning Center. Um, I was asked just to give you a couple minutes uh, background on what we're all about and what we're doing. Um, our organization is. Uh, founded in 2003, so we're a 13-year organization. Our mission is to preserve the heritage and history of the California Fire Services. Our official name is the California Fire Museum and Safety Learning Center. And our main focus of the building and our mission is to educate the public on all the safety hazards that the public encounters every single day of their life but nobody in our lifetime ever teaches how to deal with. And I'll just give you some examples. If you want to take the term gas, so you have natural gas, propane gas, gasoline, diesel. Uh, has anybody taught you how to handle that stuff, which you all handle, I'm sure, out here in, in the country. Everybody's handling that stuff every day, and we continue to respond to accidents, injuries, and fatalities with those types of safety hazards. And so our mission is gonna be to educate the public on all the hazards that they encounter every single day, but nobody teaches us about. And so that's where the term came from. Um, basically what we're trying to do again is to preserve the um, heritage and history of the fire services. And because we respond to those calls to help lessen the calls, save injuries and, and fatalities. Um, so we'd like to turn it over now to uh, San Diego Unit Chief, Tony Meacham. He's also the Horn, uh, San Diego County Fire Authority and San Diego Rural Fire Chief. Well, thank you. Now, before I begin speaking, I do want to recognize Mike McDonald because Mike asked me when I was an 18 year old kind of punk kid at Valley Center Fire Station in 1987. Mike McDonald was back then, almost 30 years ago, coming by and supporting the firefighters on the ground. And he has been 
just an absolute great support to uh, all of the fire agencies for 30 years. So Mike, I really wanna thank you for your uh, efforts. And I'm also looking forward to our next project. We have a similar engine that we're gonna hopefully do a little work on and donate it to a, a small volunteer fire department in New Mexico. So Mike's gift continues to give. <coughs> It's really my great honor to serve as the Chief of both Cal Fire and County Fire Authority. And I come in at a, just an incredible time. Since 2008, the county has spent over $350 million on fire protection. We have a combined force now of almost 800 people between our career staff and our volunteer reserves. We've placed paramedics in most of our communities. We fly a very advanced a helicopter fleet. Uh, our dispatch center is uh, performing at one of the top of the nation with our medical uh, pre-arrival and our pre-hospital care. But I think it's really important as an organization as we make all these improvements that we don't forget where we came from. And I know the supervisor is going to talk about a little bit of the history with this station. But in the 70s, organized fire protection did not exist in San Diego County. And it was literally communities like yours that came together, that sold cookies and had spaghetti fundraisers and built a facility like this, staffed by community-based uh, volunteers, and it was really the history of the fire service about neighbor helping neighbor. And then we went through and the San Diego Rural Fire District was formed, which took 13 of these small volunteer uh, fire companies and put them to the umbrella under the San Diego Rural Fire Protection District. I don't see Randy here, but uh, some of those board members have served on that board for over 20 years and have been staunch supporters of increasing public safety uh, in our back country. Then after the fires in 07, the County Fire Authority was formed and as the requirements and the legal requirements to provide fire protection continue to change, San Diego World decided to hand their keys over to the county and have the County of San Diego assume fire protection. <clears throat> we'll complete that dissolution in May and I wanna promise this community as a County Fire Chief, we will continue to ensure that what you started back in the 70s with spaghetti dinners to ensure fire protection that we will continue. And I'd like to end just on a personal note. I remember I was the commander of the uh, western side of the Harris Fire in 2007. And I remember being here at about three o'clock in the morning when the conditions up here became so untenable that we gave the emergency retreat signal and all the firefighters literally came to this fire station in the field next door uh, and rode it out for our lives here as the fire passed uh, through this community. So fire is something that we're going to live in in San Diego. We are going to have another round of fires like we did in 03 and 07, but it is my hope that we're much more prepared for that. So it is my great honor to introduce my boss and, and probably the, the most staunchest supporter of fire services, Supervisor Diane Jacob. Good afternoon, everyone, and Tony, thank you. Uh, Tony has really ratcheted up uh, the level of support and fire protection since he not only became the chief of the division here for Cal Fire, but also the chief of the county fire authority. I want to thank Kim for putting this together, all the efforts, all of you for being here, our firefighters, uh, past, current, and future. There may be some out there that are vying to do this, and and to the museum, too. Um, and of course, Mike, you've done a fantastic job on that old engine. Um, the only thing when I was listening about the museum, why in the heck is it in Orange County? <laughs> <laughs> I wish you'd have come to me. We'd have found a place for this museum. And anyway, it is what it is. But it's not I'd too like late. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Let's take a little trip back. Uh, memory lane, and uh, let's, let's look back at the 70s. How many of you were here in 1970? In the area. Yes, I remember vividly that we in a fire and riding a horse down Honey Springs Road at 2 a.m. in the morning with flames all around, fire engines with sirens on coming up. That was rather an exciting event. <laughs> And from the Laguna fire, and then it was after that, and ironically, bef before, it was probably around 72, 73, the, the County Board of Supervisors terminated 
the contract with, uh, it was CDF at the time. And it was a million dollar contract and it encompasses the entire unincorporated area, you can imagine. That's probably around a million and a half acres, about half the geographic size that the county is, if, if you could visualize that. And it was the second district supervisor at the time, I wasn't there then, that had initiated that action saying it was too expensive. So they terminated the contract and basically said to this community and all the other communities in the unincorporated area, you're on your own. The county was out of the fire business. You're on your own. And some communities got together and they, fought, they, they formed a fire district like Alpine and, and Lakeside and then San Miguel and, and Rural eventually. And then others like Dearborn far, uh, formed volunteer fire departments. And there were many, many of those in the unincorporated area. And as has been mentioned, the, we lived along with the bake sales and, and all that we could do just to garner up and with our, our volunteer firefighters, which really are the unsung heroes of our backcountry who were there to save life and property and worked hard for us every single day. And I hope at some point, Kim, we'll get a chance to honor each of them or their families that are here today because you, you dedicated a huge commitment to the people in this community. So growing up with that history and what happened at the Board of Supervisors, and ironically, as I look back, I was testifying at the time on behalf of the community in front of the board opposing the termination of the contract. A lot of good that did. They did it anyway. Good. And, on, oh, and one more. Just real quick. The, uh, first of all, thank you to the community for having us. Uh, this is still your community. This is still your fire department. We're here to represent you. Uh, we have a lot to learn from this community. Uh, but uh, first thing, Mike McDonald, to come up for a second. One thing Mike McDonald says is he's not a firefighter. That's absolutely false. Uh, Mike, as he talked about with Western Equipment, uh, has been on the dozer and has fought many fire fires through the dozer. San Diego Rural wanted to honor him with one of the things that we pass on, which is a challenge point. Uh, so Mike McDonald, a challenge point from the San Diego Rural Fire Protection District. <laughs> the last thing I had is, as, as this community, and we're part of it, um, although we're evolving, this community uh, is part of this fire department, will be a part of, part of the fire department. The doors are open. We expect to see you come and visit and share some of the stories uh, with the firefighters that are, that are here. And it, uh, as it evolves here in the next couple months, uh, one of the nice things that we're able to do is we're gonna have paramedics out of here within the next few weeks.